Whenever you have an interaction with people, you leave impressions. You are evaluated. So that's a very basic fundamental idea we want to give evaluation to our students each performance. That means, that means each class. And the second thing is we are convinced that as long as students they are persistent and consistent in their efforts into the, this course, they can demonstrate very good skill, very good skills in Chinese. So because of those two reasons, we adopt the daily grading system here. So usually after class, we provide feedback to each student's performance in class, including language, including his cultural behavior, so that students know what to improve for the next sessions. We usually do written feedback. So we use an online, we, we have a website called Ingrade. So besides entering grade, you can also leave comments to each student privately. So each student, they will, as long as they get, they get access into the website to their account, they will read the comments from the instructor. So the comments, that it really depends on the student's performance. It can be as simple as, you know, pay attention to the following pronunciations. It can be a little bit more elaborated than, for example, think about how you're going to deal with compliments in Chinese. For example, this is another example I always like to, to use. In American culture, when you, when you receive a compliment, it's very natural for you to say thank you. For example, your Chinese is very good. You say thank you. Your English is good. Thank you. However, being humble is the way when you receive it compliment in Chinese culture. You don't accept it by saying thank you. You Sometimes you say things, for example, like there's still a long way for me to go, so it's too far. Oh, I don't know where the compliments come from. <laughs> so the, the fundamental idea in Chinese culture about compliments is to remain humble. So in, if the student's performance in class is from his L1, we will encourage them and give and and giving the feedback by thinking about how do you deal with compliments in Chinese culture according to the textbook where, where everything is based on the materials we cover in class. So students, they know this is something that they can work on.